All right, guys. Hi, and welcome back to the channel. This is episode two of our unboxing and in-depth look at the new Boatmaster boats we just received. And um, again, just a big shout out to John for letting us use his PT boat. He ended up picking it up the other day and he was uh, more than happy. And um, next boat on the list we've got is a hospital ship. And this one is a dual motor 775 setup. And without taking a sneak peek at the other one that we're gonna look at later, here it is. So, again, we've only seen photos of these, no video, so again, to see it in person, we're just blown away. Um, this one has been set up with LED lights, which we can check out later. Uh, again, dual motor, one ESC on this one. So, four cell, three cell setup, which is what most of the boats require and that will power the lights as well. And um, just uh, with some of the questions we've been getting, these boats only come as a PNP, so they don't have the transmitter receiver or the uh, batteries, obviously, um, but can be optioned with those things if needed, only because we're not sure if people have radios or their own preferred radio, it's just easier that way. Um, but let's just have a quick walk around of this one. So, again, the detail on these things is amazing. Same construction as the other one, so it's a fiberglass hull, um, a lot of uh, wood ribbing on the inside, a lot of 3D parts, um, 3D printed parts, and a lot of hand painted parts as well, we should add. So it's not just uh, get out the old spray cans and spray away. A lot of detailed parts here as well. Uh, length on this boat, 1.3 meters. Weight, approximately 20 kg. And um, can be optioned with the smoker system as well. So we have the Boatmaster smoke systems available as well on our website, which you can pick up. And um, we've left that up to the customer again, not everyone wants smoke, so you can um, choose to put that in if you want to. So let's have a closer look at the inside. Right, so now for the inside of these ones, so we've got these panels here that we can just remove. So this is the back part. Uh, here is where you can access the speed controller, so you can set up your receiver. Um, you've got the junction. Uh, box there which will go to the two motors. Uh, steering servo, you got a push-pull sort of system here uh, that will control the dual rudder system that we've got here at the back. Um, metal props, same prop size, I think these are the 40 mil four blade. And if we go over to the middle section, pull this lid off. Here you can see the dual motors. 775 again is the size of the motors. Belt driven. I think this is the theme for these type of boats. Um, plenty of storage in there if you can barely see it to fit. Probably what we recommend is a 12 volt sort of deep cycle battery for weight as well. But you can use whatever you want. If you want to get you know, your three cell packs or four cell packs out, you can use those as well. And just looking at the front here, again, he did an amazing job, this guy. I'm so pleased. I mean, with everything going on, I uh, wish they came earlier, but do what we can, right? Again, you can detail these up as much as you want. I mean, there's extra bits there, like the little rescue boat there you can probably paint up if you wanted to um, the crane sort of functions the swivels if you wanted to you can probably put a servo work that out make that function as well um, so there you go all in these times hospital ship makes sense 
Um, so this will be on our website shortly. And um, again, fully customizable. I mean, you can basically get that boat set up in any other color scheme you wanted or have other sort of wording, etc. Um, and there's other boats that he can do as well. So it's not, we're not just limited to the this sort of style. So what I'll do now is we'll um, plug a battery in and get these lights going for you. All right, welcome back. So uh, dim the lights, excuse the... Uh, Again, excuse the bad audio and the bad video quality because this is not usually something that we do. But um, hopefully we get better at it. But I've dimmed the lights just so you can see the lighting effect. So uh, these boats have their lighting systems activated by a switch. And you can obviously hook that up to you know, a, th a third channel or fourth channel if you wanted to and get it to function that way. But just for simplicity's sake, you know, buttons located here we have a, like a, a button system in this one so if we push that go. lights have been activated so this at night or low light I think would look really nice on the water and I might just turn the button lights down just so we have a better look So yeah, LED lights, low power, no heat. Um, again, it can probably add more lights, especially to the mast if you wanted to, to the back part. Like your navigation lights, etc. Uh, so it really depends on what you're after in terms of the look that you want. So there you go, that one's running off a four cell plugged directly in, so through the um, main bus. There's no need to turn the ESC on for this one. It just powers itself through that switch. Okay, you can turn it on and off. Just gives you that extra detail here. Thanks guys, thanks for watching, I uh, hope you liked the video and you subscribe and like the video, share it possibly and um, I'll hope to have the last two boats up shortly, um, hopefully they get better from here, uh, but yeah if there's anything else you guys need you can always hit us up on the email info at rccrew.com or just hit our website rccrewhobbies.com.au, thank you.